and some cook those home. Book second, chapter eleven. How Christ dies for his own power, and how mortality does not inhere in the in, in the essential nature of him. And some now also it remains to inquire whether, as man's nature is, it is possible for that man to die. Also, we need hardly dispute with regard to this, since he will be really man, and every man is by nature mortal. Answer: I don't think mortality inherits in the essential nature of man, but only as corrupted, since had man never sinned, and had his mortality been unchangeably confirmed, he would like he would have been as really man, and when the dying rise again, incorruptible, they will no less be really man. For if mortality was an essential attribute of human nature, that then he who it was immortal could not be man. Wherefore, neither corruption nor incorruption belong essentially to human nature, for neither makes nor destroys a man, but happiness, but, but happiness accrues to him from the one, and misery from the, from the other. But since all men die, mortality is included in the definition of man, as given by philosophers, for they have never even, for they have, have never even believe in the possibly possibility of man's being immortal in all respects. And so it is not enough to prove that that man ought to be subject to death for us to say that he will be in all respect a man. Boso, seek then for some other reason, since I know of none, if you do not, by which we may prove that he can die. Answer, we may, doubt, we may not doubt that, as he, as he will be God, he will possess omnipotence. Boso, certainly, answer, he can then, if he chooses, lay down his life and take it again. Boso, if not, he would scarcely seem to be omnipotent. Answer, therefore, is he able to avoid that if he chooses, and also to die and rise again? Moreover, whether he lays down his life by the intervention of another person, or another causes this, so that he lays it down by permitting it, permitting it to be taken, it makes no difference as far as regards his power. Also, there is no doubt about it. Answer: If then he chooses to allow it, he chose he could be slain, and if he were unwilling to allow it, he could not be slain. Also, to this we are unfortunately brought by reason. Answer: Reason has also taught us that the gift which he presents to God, not of death but freely, ought to be something greater than anything in the position of God. Also, yes, Anselmus. Now this can in, now this can either can be found beneath him nor above him. Also, very to Anselm, in him, in himself, therefore must it be found. Also, so it appears. Anselm. Therefore, he will give himself or something pertaining to himself. Boso, I cannot see how it should be otherwise. Answer. Now, was me inquire what sort of a gift this should be, for he may not give himself to God or anything of this, if it, as if God did not have what, what, he, what has his own. For if creator belongs to God, Boso, this is so. Answer. Therefore must this gift be understood in this way, that he somehow give up himself, or something of this, to the honor of God, which he did not owe as a debtor. Boso, so it seems from what has been already said, Answer, if we say that he will give himself to God by obedience, so as, by steadily maintaining holiness, to render himself subject to his will, this will not be giving us a, a thing not demanded of him by God as his, as his due. For a reasonable being owes his obedience to God. Boso, this cannot be denied. Boso, reason urges us to this conclusion. Answer, let us see whether, perchance, this may be to be, uh, to be give up his life or to lay down his life, or to deliver himself, himself up to, de to death for God's honor. For God will not demand this of, his, of him as a death, for as no sins will be found, he ought not to die, as we have already said. 
Boso, else I can understand it. Ansem, but let us further observe whether this is according to a reason. Boso, speak you, and I will listen with pleasure. Ansem, if, um, if man sin with is, is it not fitting for him to atone with his reality? And if he was overcome by the devil in the easiest manner possible, so as to dishonor God by sinning against him, is it not right that man, in making satisfaction for his sin, should honor God by conquering the devil with the greatest possible, possible difficulty? Is it not proper that, since man has departed from God as far as possible in his sin, he should make to God the greatest possible satisfaction? Boso, surely there is nothing more reasonable. Ansem, no, now, no, nothing can be more severe of difficult for man to do for God's honor than to suffer death voluntarily when not bound by obligation, and man cannot give himself to God in any way more truly than by surrendering himself to death for God's honor. Boso, all these things are true. Ansem, therefore, he who wishes to make a tournament for man's sins, for man's sin, should be one who can die if he chooses. Also, I think it is plain that the man whom we seek for, for should not only be one who is not necessarily subject to death on account of his omnipotence and one who does not deserve death on account of his sin, but also one who can die of his own free will, for this will be necessary. Answer, there are, there are also many other reasons why it is peculiarly fitting for that man to enter into the common intercourse of man and maintain a likeness to him, only without sin. And this, and these things are most easily and clearly manifest in his life and action, and actions, than they can possible, possibly, possibly, so, sound by to be by mere reason without experience. For who can say how necessary and wise a thing it was for him who was to, to redeem mankind and lead them back by his teaching? from the way of death and destruction into the path of life and eternal happiness. When he conversed with men, and when he taught them by personal intercourse, to set them and assemble him, and assemble himself of the way in which they ought to live. But how could he, give, he have given this example to weak and dying men, that they should not deviate from holiness because, in, because of injuries, or scorns, turtles, or even death? Had they not been able to recognize all these virtues in himself, in himself.